Sean, how much is there a feeling of wanting to get back on the bike and I suppose put right the second half from last Saturday? Yeah, I think we're all dying to get back out and obviously put right what happened in the second half um, on Saturday. The good thing about this league is the games do come ticking fast and we have an opportunity now the weekend against Mansfield to uh, to put things right, as you said, yeah. And when you see that Port Vale go and draw Man City, does that just add to the learning experience? Yeah, I think it was always going to happen to us. Um, obviously, all the big boys come in in the third round and to miss out on a tie, to go away to Man City is obviously disappointing, but um, there's nothing we can do about it now other than to go to Mansfield and get a positive result. And they also were knocked out of the FA Cup on, at the weekend, so presumably they'll be in a pretty similar position to yourselves. Yeah, they'll be looking to obviously have a reaction as well. Um, I don't know who they could have got, to be honest, but um, both of us will be going into the game looking to, to get onto the right side of the result. On a personal level, how are you? How's the hamstring? Yeah, good. It wasn't it was nothing too serious. Um, it looks like we cut it early, which was good. Just needed maybe a, a bit of a rest and a, a bit of strength work into it. But yeah, no, touch wood now, everything's fine. And we hear that was the first time in your career you'd had a hamstring problem, so you didn't really know what you were encountering. Yeah, so obviously last year is the first time I've ever had a, a long term injury, which was disappointing. And then this year I got um my first muscle injury, which isn't too bad from, from where I've come, so um it's all credit to the medical team we have and uh, the sports science staff. So um, now hopefully you can just keep going injury free. And how much is that sort of instilled into the players of, look, you know, take no risks, precautionary first. You know, if you feel something, let everyone know. I think you always play with maybe a bit of pain or a, a niggle here and there, but you know your own body and when it doesn't feel right, I think that's when you have to be brave and make the decision for the team and say, listen, I can't do what I want to do on the pitch, so maybe it's it's time to come off and let someone else uh, step in and do a job, which we have players who can do that here. Everyone's pulling in the right direction. So, um, no, I think it's down to the player, but also as a staff as well, to, to make the right decision. And you mentioned you know, someone else can possibly do that job. Connor Thomas did at Swindon the game you went off yeah. and you look at what happened there, well that shows why you can trust the squad. Exactly, yeah, trust is a massive thing. CT has went in there and done done a great job for us um, as he's been doing in the centre of the park as well. Broom, you can go out there. Um, I've been playing there. Um, so yeah, now we all have players who can play in positions which is it's vital for us. Strange one against Mansfield. Probably you've surprised a few people being where you are, and they might have surprised a few people being where they are in 15th. Yeah, if you look at the squad, they, they have a bundle of uh, good players at this level. Maybe it hasn't clicked for them at the minute, but Mansfield is a tough place to go. And um, as I said, the players they have, they can, they can cause any team's problems. The managers talked about wanting the 90 minute performance rather than half a performance. How do you actually turn that into? what he wants maybe it just might be a bit of a mentality thing or just being brave for the whole game really as you can see the last few games has definitely been a contrast in um, the first and ha second half or the we might play well the first half and not great the second half or vice versa but maybe just that mentality of just keep kicking on and resetting us each half and in the games before Port Vale he was saying, well, perhaps not enough chances were created against Vale. The chances were there, they just weren't converted, I suppose. In some ways, that's football, isn't it? But at the same point, I suppose people like you, you've just got to keep providing those chances, haven't you? Exactly, yeah. One of my jobs is to to put balls in the box, but not just balls, but good quality balls that strikers can get on, on the end of, sorry. And um, if we keep putting it in there, hopefully one of them is going to go in and we get a flurry of goals, but it's just down to me or... Whoever's playing there, Hussey, Josh DeBeo, whoever's out there, we even in the middle of the park, we need to provide chances for the strikers to score. And if we do provide them, we need them to score. So it's everyone's helping everyone, really. And the personnel up front's changed a little bit in recent times. How does that affect the type of ball you might need to put in? Yeah, it's just Gaffer puts it down to recognising your players. Obviously, when Ruben's there, he's a target. He can get the ball, he can lay it off. Whereas maybe someone like Alex, we need to utilise his pace a bit more in behind. It's just getting that understanding, really. But we train with each other every day. We know that it's just 
recognising that and making the correct decision on the pitch will, will help us going forward, yeah. And uh, strikers, they tend to let you know if they're not getting what they want. I mean, are they sort of calling for it in the game, you know, the, the bits that perhaps we don't see? Yeah, they might call for it, but we may make the bad decision. We might make a good decision. They might not call for it. It's just getting on that same wavelength. Um, we're all big enough to um, to take a bit of stick or a bit of a rollicking if the decision isn't right. But um, it's all gone. We're all in the same direction. Like We all know what we want.